I like unboxing things. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you what is inside this big box from YesStyle. It is the Insa kit and it released on the 4th of May, so not too long ago from YesStyle obviously. And it has a lot of lovely goodies in it. Disclaimer first, because I want to be as transparent as possible. I was sent this box for free. I did not spend the $74.90 that this box costs. It was sent to me as part of some work I was doing for YesStyle. That is all on their Instagram. They did not ask me to make a video about this. This is something that I wanted to do to show you guys what is inside this box and to kind of give my thoughts on it afterwards. So, I was not paid for this video. I have not been paid for this video. I was paid for other content and this was given to me for free. But that still means that I can be objective. And even though I have worked with YesStyle in the past on a different blogger box, I'll link that um, in a card, and I do recommend them as a more reliable, reputable place to get Korean cosmetics and Korean fashion. I will still try and be as objective as I possibly can about this big boy. It is bigger than I thought it was going to be, to be quite honest. I thought it was going to be around like maybe half the size or maybe even like two thirds of the size, but this is a pretty hefty boy. So let's just open it and see what is inside. So, the information that I can find from their website, or the blog post that they did on it, is that the box costs $74.90 and inside are 10 hand-picked items worth over US value $170. So it's not cheap. It says that it's the first volume and it's the spring edition, so I'm assuming they're probably going to do seasonal editions if this one is spring. And it doesn't really tell me anything about whether or not it's a subscription based or like a one-time offer. This is the box. It's very pretty. I do like the whole um, like pink, purple, E kind of like E aesthetic with all like the messenger JPG stuff vibe. I am loving that. I think it's very very pretty and on the inside you have the products, they do come in um, taped bubble wrap. I undid that because I had to take pictures. So that is on the packaging note. It's not all like loose and free and breakable. And on the top you have what is Insta? It's Insta with Sangshit. It says it's a noun. It's derived from the English word insider and a person belonging to an admired group who has special knowledge or influence. Apparently that me. Thank you. I thought it would have been cute to have it kind of like as insa as in like insahada, which is to like greet someone. But they have it with insa as in like insa, so insider. And it's got like this hashtag insa scoop, and the whole thing is just very cute. It's very very cute. They also have like this little text blurb up here, which is like annyeong annyeong, heading out for my morning ninkoki. You come in. And like iced coffee, yes. <laughs> Honestly, I've never ever heard iced coffee referred to as like ninkopi, but yeah. So let's have a look inside the box. There are 10 items, we can count with me, <laughs> teacher vibes. And there is kind of like a little bit for everyone. There's skincare, there's beauty, there's um, apparel. There's like beauty tools, there's snacks. So let's have a little look through. We'll start with the snacks. Um, there's only one. This is dried Pollock snack. They're fairly popular in Korea. Um, you can buy massive bags of them at like Emart or Home Plus and stuff. Um, not my favorite, in all honesty. But this is the spicy. Um, flavor, spicy map. It's nothing that I can get at the convenience of. Like, snacks in this sense are kind of lost on me. If you are looking for snack based subscription boxes from Korea or Japan, then there are a few. Um, so, it's n that's not what this is. This is not a snack subscription box. So, they're probably just here to have some Korean snacks. That's, that's fine. That's... 
It's nothing I can't get at the supermarket, but also I live in Korea, so there's that. Let's start with skincare, since that's where I like to be. I like to be on my skincare. So, um, the first one is the Two Step. I want to say Two Step, but it's not Two Step. It's Two TSP. Um, I'm assuming the TSP means teaspoon. Because that's what it usually means. Uh, this is the Gulba Mask, which contains banana... I, I, I can't words, which contains banana extract and honey extract. Um, honey is really good if you have inflamed skin or um, breakouts. It's a really powerful like anti-inflammatory and um, antibacterial. It's very very good if you are also like needing hydration. Banana is also very good for hydration. It contains vitamin A, so it's good for like evening out rough skin texture, um, smoothing, like brightening. So that's a pretty powerful pair there. Um, you get five masks in a box and just like the mask pack feeling is quite, they're quite thick. They're not like your, your super thin sheet masks. More sheet masks to add to my already hideously huge collection. The box says that the packaging is recyclable. The mask is unfortunately single use and you probably should put it in the trash can afterwards. These I think are like the 5001 price point type masks. So fairly expensive by sheet mask standards. And I looked on their website and the English language version of their website said that they retail for $24 for a, for a pack of five and then shipping on top of that. So they're not cheap, which I guess makes it nice to have in the box because you don't want like the super cheap freebie ones you can get from Etude House for the purchase in the box. But they are all the same type of masks. So if your skin doesn't get on with them, then you've got four left. The next is a Snail and True Seeker set by Son By Me. I've not actually tried Son By Me as a brand before. I have seen them around and they have been on my list to try, but I just haven't got there yet. Seeker, True Seeker is a trademark product, so I'm assuming Son By Me has trademarked it. Seeker is Centella Asiatica, so it's quite a trendy ingredient in Korean cosmetics, as well as I think L'Oreal introduced a Seeker product fairly recently. Centella, Centella Asiatica is one of those like wonder um, ingredients in skincare. It does a lot, most specifically like wound healing properties um there have been some papers on it and it's one of those things where you're like does it really or is it just the routine but um it's something that my skin really likes there are a lot of korean brands that use sika or centella asiatica in specific lines like dr jart has the sika pear line <coughs> apu also has a sika line and a couple of other brands too they all have um sika related or centella asiatica related products so this is probably something that my skin is going to quite enjoy when i do get around to trying it you get four products and they are tester size i think they're just a little bit bigger than travel size so probably not great to stick in your wash bag for plain well no one's doing any traveling anyway right now but not great to stick into like a travel wash bag if you're getting on anywhere that has liquid restrictions but nice if you're like going anywhere domestically you get a Snail True Seeker Low pH Gel Cleanser. The pH here is 5.5, which is what your skin's pH is very close to. Then you have the Miracle Repair Toner. You have a Miracle Repair Serum and you've got the Miracle Repair Cream. I'm running out of my toner. So this will probably be one that I'm going to try first out of all of these products. Although I do like serums and creams. So out of all four of these, I'll probably try the cleanser last and I'll go with these first because my skin is very fussy about cleansers. So if you are in any way sensitive, remember to only introduce one product at a time. You should do that anyway with your skin, not just if it's sensitive, but introduce one product at a time and then if your skin gets on with it, that's great. So yeah, uh, Some By Me is also quite an expensive brand. So... I'm not entirely sure what the price check is on that, but 
Next I'll move on to Colour Cosmetics. There are three Colour Cosmetic products in this insert kit and they are all from brands that I would rate as kind of like mid-price brands. Uh, there's a lipstick from Peach C, there's a twin eyeshadow from VT which is also like the BTS version of this from their collaboration and there is a Vivid Studio Cheek Flash Highlighter in gold. Gold isn't usually a colour that I would choose for a highlighter. But let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's quite cute actually. It's very like um, Art Deco style packaging. I haven't got anything from Vivid as a brand before so I do like getting things from brands that I have yet to try or yet to even hear about. So that's cute. I do appreciate that. The next one is the VT Stay It Twin Eyeshadow in number two, Gold Brown, which is, ooh, oh, it's one of those. So it's like, instead of having like a quad or like a duo compact palette kind of thing, it's one of the ones where like you open it up and then you open it up again and you've got your two shadows like that. I haven't bought VT products myself. I've seen them, obviously. They're very glittery. <laughs> They're very, very glittery. Oh, glitters. Glitters terrify me. Um, but yeah, okay. Uh, that is... I shall try that for definite. Thank you. And the last one is Peach C. It's a matte lipstick. I have got Peach C products myself. I've tried them as a brand before. And I do actually have a blog post going up that includes this brand. <sighs> confliction confliction there was um if you know the history of the brand recently there was um well fairly recently there was an article that came out about the ceo so now i'm like conflicted whether or not i should buy more of their products but um when you get it in like a kit or a box like this i'm like well i was gonna try it anyway and the money isn't going directly to them so yeah, I've got the matte lipstick in, it's an easy matte lipstick, and this is in Spring Coral. I love a good coral shade. Coral shades are so pretty. Oh, their packaging is always so nice. So that's what it looks like. It's cute. It's cute. It's all very pink and rose gold, and it looks like a peach. These lipsticks are like, I think, around $17. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the price of the other two, but I'll put them down in the description so we can do like a price comparison. And then editing fee can add up the price total afterwards and see if we are near like that $170 mark. So, next thing we have is, I guess, beauty tools. Beauty tools are useful. The first one is like a comb. Um, I'll take it out of the packaging, let's see. It's a comb to help with like styling your hair. I tend not to use a lot of heat on my hair. It is um, probably kind of hard to tell, but it's curly and curly girls in heat. Not our favorite, that's fine. This plastic is like, it's very lightweight. Um, it's also fairly flimsy, but I guess you don't want to be dragging anything that's like really heavy duty through your hair because that will cause breakage. Uh, the next beauty tool type thing is by MTPR and it's a collaboration with BTS. There's a lot of BTS, <laughs> two BTS things. There's a lot of BTS stuff in here. This is a lens case. Contact lens. Are there contact lenses? Oh, it's a contact lens case. And I got a... Jimin photo card. Okay, um, it's official BTS like merchandise. It does say on it, Big Hit Entertainment, copyright Big Hit Entertainment, all rights reserved. I do sometimes wear contact lenses, I do wear glasses. Um, so you've got your little set of tweezers, you've got your um, contact lenses case here, and then the case itself is just a little tin case. It's the Boy With Love version. Um, I'm going to be brutally honest and say that you are paying for the BTS name here because it's a contact lens case. Like, how much does this retail for? Because it's a contact lens case. <laughs> Moving on to the last two items, which are very pink. Um, the first one is a little appy sleeping mask. Uh, 
Kaka Friends merchandise is so expensive. Like, it's ungodly expensive, to be quite honest. Like, I go into the Kaka Friends store sometimes just to see, and I'm just like, <laughs> prices. So this is a sleeping mask. Um, it's very cute. Little Apit is very cute. My favourite character is obviously Ryan because that is everybody's favourite character. No. Um, but the pink one, oh, it's so sweet. It's very fluffy. And it says, you're mine on it. And I was actually thinking of getting a sleeping mask because it's getting a lot lighter now and um, our bedroom doesn't have curtains. So this is actually very useful, thank you. And the last item in here is this bag by Esther Loves You. I love Esther Loves You. She is the little pink rabbit and this is a very cute tote bag. It's also very large for a tote bag. Um, I needed a new one. I currently haul, and I do mean haul, <laughs> around a lot of stuff in an alpaca one from Daiso but it's it's good it's good it's it's not very like it doesn't distribute weight evenly and this one has a little pocket on the outside it's got the Esther Bunny logo here and it's pretty huge on the inside there's no button clasp I think that would have probably been better but I also didn't design the bag so there's that that's cute, 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 cute. So that is everything that is inside the box. Um, the main source of like price, I think, is to do with branded items. Um, like, Kakao Friends is an expensive brand. Esther Loves You is probably not cheap. And obviously, like, the BTS stuff. Then after that it would be skincare and obviously the cheapest items are like snacks and beauty tools. So worth the money for $75 I think it's nice to get some interesting skincare. Like this kind of set is something that is fairly expensive as a set even though they are like miniatures rather than full size products but if you find something that you like then it is worth spending the money especially on your skin and for the sheet masks as well although having five of one type is great because it comes in a box and if your skin does really like it then wonderful but if you find out that your skin really doesn't like this mask you have no alternatives to try really so I think maybe it would be better to have different types of sheet masks even like single types but then that would necessarily that would then remove the number of other products that you could put in the box so that's that's a tough call um the color cosmetics i am very happy with especially considering these are not colors that i would usually pick for myself as i am fairly um i'm fairly unadvent i'm i'm not particularly adventurous with certain types of color cosmetics like eyeshadows and highlighters because they're glitters and they scare me but overall i think i think maybe it's a little expensive for the type of product that it is but then the products that you get are nice quality um like you caca friend stuff is not going to be falling apart versus like the 3001 stuff you buy in subway stations um and they're not like cheap brand cosmetics either like you could fit you could probably get three or four tony Mooney products out of the cost of like one peach seat lipstick if we're going for color cosmetics so subscription boxes or like boxes like this do tend to conflict me a little bit because you're paying not only for the products but also like the time it takes for someone to curate and the time it takes for them to create the box as well so really it's up to you i'm neither like here nor there about it really <laughs> uh that was what I got in my Insta kit and a little of my thoughts about it. So if you want to check out my blog then uh, links to where else I hang out will be down below. Links also to the Yes Star listing and my promo code will be down below. You don't have to use it if you don't want to but it does give you some money off. I'll put like non-affiliated links down as well. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.